Welcome back to Zero Cool Gaming and today's long play of Reckoning. Today I'm going to do a review of a 1985 movie called Lady Hawk. Um, Lady Hawk is a... Um, it's a chick flick. Truly, it's a chick flick. It's a tragic romance um, with a happy ending, I guess, is the best way to put it. So, with a name like Lady Hawk, you'd probably wonder what the heck that means. Well, that has to do with one of the uh, underlining or one of the, the aspects of the show. Um, so, basically... You have this bishop, and this is set in the past, so, um, before guns, but they had crossbows. Pretty odd time, I guess. But basically, you, you got this bishop who, I guess you could say falls in love with, lusts after, whatever you want to call it, this lady who doesn't like him. He finds out that his, uh, um, captain of the guard Welcome. is seeing this lady, so he decides to make a deal with the devil to curse both of them. Now, what this deal does is during the night, the guy turns into a wolf, and during the day, the lady turns into a hawk. Now, with this deal that he made, the devil tells the, the bishop that if both of them ever stand before him in their human form, the curse will be broken. So his answer to that was to hire a bunch of hunters to go out and kill all the wolves in the land. You know, solve the problem. Um, and that, that's kind of what the story is, is about. You know, it's about these two and the, the trials that they go through in that respect. So, the story starts out with Um, this guy escaping from the dungeons. And uh, he escapes from the dungeons and then he finds himself at like some, you know, tavern, I guess is the way of putting it. And boasting about what he's done. And that gets him into a little bit of trouble. And he ends up being essentially kidnapped by this captain of the guard that's going to turn into a wolf in the at night and uh, he gets pulled into all the the problems that um, you know these people have and that's kind of how the story plays out in that respect is that they uh, Mitharu believes in justice Inequality in order. You know, and, what order you know all would the different you things that. Go with um, getting involved with these people that are cursed. And they, you know, some things happen. She gets hurt, so they take her to a uh, another hermit. I don't think he's called a hermit, though, monk, to uh, get aid for the bird that turns into a lady at night. And uh, he's a little crazy, you know, kind of upset with some of the things that he's done. And um, he wants to fix things, of course, you know. 
and uh, he tries to tell him that there's going to be a way to fix, you know, end the curse. And of course that doesn't go over too well with the guy because he just wants to kill the bishop. You know, he's on a revenge quest. Um, of course if he does kill them before they both can stand before him in their human form, you can never uh, end the curse. So there's kind of that conundrum going on there. And the end result, of course, is... Uh, they end up being able to do that. And the bishop dies, and you know, they live happily ever after. So it's a pretty basic story. Um, it's got some interesting parts to it. It's got some action scenes, it's got some, you know, drama, it's got, you know, the love tale, it's got the, the happily ever after ending, of course. But it, it was a show made for, to be entertaining in that respect, and that's what I like about it. It's, it's not trying to push some agenda, it's not trying to convey the message, it's just there to be fun to watch. And that's what I like about that. Um, is that it's just there to be fun to watch. It's entertainment for the purpose of being entertaining. Unlike the vast majority of stuff that is produced today. And I'm not really one to, to like these type of stories in that respect, you know, uh, love stories or the, the like. But the reason that this one I, I find um, watchable is because of the fantasy elements to it. There's just enough to keep me interested in what's going on. I live my life as an example of Mitharu's wishes for our because I'm sure there are lots of, uh, you know, slice of life romance stories that have basically the same story. And I have no interest in watching any of those. Of course, this one, you know, there's reasons for it, obviously. I mean, you've got the. The dude turning into a wolf at night, that's pretty cool. You got her turning into a bird during the day, that's pretty cool. You got the demonic elements of a dude making a deal with the devil to get this ball rolling. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty odd, but uh, good fun. Good fun. They look down their eyes at you. They laugh at your ignorance. Are we not lied to enough? We are a we spread And there's comedy us. elements to it as we well. The uh, thief that breaks out of the uh, dungeons. He's the, the comic relief for this whole sordid mess. And you need a little comic relief in, in a story that is as serious as this one is um, I'm sure you could do it on a completely serious no don't get me wrong but I like the way that this one was done it, it relieves some of the tension because it is a pretty um, <laughs> Excuse me. It is a pretty uh, wrenching story in that respect. I mean, the bad guy is a pretty bad guy. <laughs> Not just because of what he did to them, but kind of how he rules over his territory and uh, treats the people and everything else. 
So yeah, there's there's a lot there. If you enjoy that. Um, as for me, I just like it for the different action scenes. I like you know some of the comedy. I like the the mythical elements to it. Uh, the story, you know, like I said, it wasn't really my kind of story, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't done horribly. It's actually done pretty well. Um, Fine. If you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future. A future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. Father Dimwell and the others are fools. And they're silly. So yeah, that's kind of my review of um, Lady Hawk. Uh, I guess I would say it's... I would give it somewhere between a 60 and a 70 percent. <coughs> I mean, it's not a low budget film. Um, so, there's that. Uh, I don't know how well it did when it released. But I know it's not a low budget film by any stretch of the imagination. It's got some pretty uh, big names in it. Um, until I joined the mission, I'd never even left my home village. And you can see that in the way that it was done. Um, it was done relatively cheaply, to be sure, but uh, the elements of, of it that they do use, that they're well done, well crafted. I mean, they, they definitely spent some money on it. I need a mage name for when I become all-powerful, for when my magic is so great that no one will dare dispute me. What about... Abner the visionary, or Malik the nefarious, Lord Zaltan. The reason I go through all of these uh, talking points like this is to give people an idea of just no how long this world. game really and is. Time, the fair ones shall be if you sit here and listen to everybody and talk to everybody about everything and and go through and really learn the lore of the land, the um, failed, them. You see, there's hundreds of hours here. So they need someone more powerful to do it. And they will bestow upon me the wisdom of... I don't remember how long it took me to play this game to begin with, but... I know it wasn't... a short amount of time. Legend tells of the great Fae City hidden beneath the canopies of Dalantarth. And sometimes when you talk to these guys like this, you can... Yes, you end up getting sure. quests, subquests, side quests, whatever you want to call them because you talk to them like this and you, you got the all the information out of them. For the wild fay. See you later. And then you follow this guy and you help him with whatever he's trying to do. The game makes it pretty pretty simple to um, follow through or complete quests um, it makes it very simple it's almost impossible not to be able to complete them probably you know, too many dangers and by doing the quest you, you end up going through most of uh, the maps <coughs> and I say most of the maps because there's a, a few places that I haven't been able to figure out how to get to and I don't even know if you can get to them so there's that local legends say that the great fey mage Armin the Clank it does make for a, a, a from mortal hands. Among them, the silky veil. I guess an interesting um, playthrough. This is another one of those games where, kind of like Morrowind, the side quests are more of the game than the main quest will ever be. <laughs> Sword. 
And I don't know if that's meant to be that way, but it certainly, uh, if you allow it. Wow, that hurt. These are bombs in the water. Electric bombs. Interesting. Considering that it told me to do that. I was supposed to go after the other ones. Before I finish that. Oh yeah, a reminder. That's nice that it gives me reminders. Now just close. Leave that there. I don't even worry about what I'm picking up initially. Um, later on in the game, uh, item acquisition is much more important because you get so many items all the time that you really got to start uh, looking at what you're getting and making judgment calls on those things because you don't have a whole lot of space. I mean, you can always leave the dungeon and return. Don't get me wrong. That is always an option. You know what? Let me... I'm glad that he stops. But yeah, I don't keep track of my... Uh, even how many items I'm picking up, I don't keep track of it. I don't realize that my items are full until my items are full. <laughs> Literally. Uh, or it tells me I can't pick anything else up because my inventory is full. I shouldn't say items are full, my inventory. I didn't really need that, I could have given that up. That, that hurt. Okay. That hurt even more. Well, that's nice. That's actually something I can use. I kind of like the mana regen thing. Um, that comes with wearing, uh, you know, magic, uh, the stuff designed for magic users. Um, because I, I like also using the magical weapon. I like the chakras and the staff isn't so bad. Um. And later on, you'll get some pretty, I mean, there's some pretty powerful uh, chakras in that respect. And now I'm running back. Where is this guy going? We went in and came out. And I guess now he's going to go back to the uh, dude in the city and rejoin the what is this a little egan has made a friend hmm. I've a feeling this is going to be a problem legend states that the wearer of the veil will be granted strange abilities fey abilities so you can imagine why my brother and I might be curious hmm 
That veil thing that I got. So I guess they're wanting me to give that up. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. what I'm guessing. That's actually something I can use. And that I want to use. But if I don't give it to them, I'm pretty sure they're gonna attack me. My brother and I do prefer them witness and eager. He would have I mean, I'm not gonna guarantee that, but I would guess that that's what they're going to do if I Obviously, try to keep, keep anyone it. Anyone who has ever glimpsed a fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The fae lands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish, you can fill your pockets with hardly any efforts. Are you gonna give us what's rightfully ours, or do we need to start a new game? So, I got a 5% chance to telling her, uh, the veil is cursed, come and take it. Yeah, I knew that you didn't have that. I wonder why he isn't giving me the option to just give it to him. Neither of those other two options were an option to give it to her. Uh, maybe it'll give me that now. And I got a 5% chance of saying the veil is cursed. It does look like you are well acquainted with misfortune. Keep the veil then. There are other treasures to be had in the Feylands. Okay, well that actually worked, surprisingly. I don't think I got any pluses in Persuade, so I'm guessing that you can't actually uh, fail this particular check. Okay. No, how could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell, come, let's return to the mission. I must ask. And he's going to go so back many. to being. Bye now. Uh, a monk, a priest. I have no idea. A follower of whatever god he was, you know, following before he decided to become a bandit. An acquisitioner of antiquities. <laughs> uh. How did you just disappear? I don't know why they come on to St. Oddwigs. Why does he keep turning into the wall like that? Very odd. I can't wait to get home. I guess I'm supposed to talk to him. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power. Although all of those things are quite frightening. Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous. And than that's going to end this Have quest, I believe. Days. Maybe. And then Why I can then? start another one. Must we return nope, to still the telling me I need to... Adventure, magic, power. Although all of those things are quite frightening. See you later. Day. I hate Mithardu. Egan has returned. No, oh, I just need to walk away from him. have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward. Yeah, there's a whole lot of uh, interaction in this game. Truly. 
And I'm just going to take each of the quests, you know, one at a time. I'm going to talk to the people slowly, one at a time. I'm going to go through and really... Um, dissect this game, I guess is the way of putting it. Now you could go through and just click and then back out of it and it'll say that it did it. But... Yeah, what's the point of that? And you see now there's another quest open right down here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this. It says it was very easy, so... Ooh, wrong way. And it was very easy. I didn't even lose a pick doing it. That's always a good thing. And then there's a person in here, which there wasn't earlier, but now there is. And we can go do this quest. Have you come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's all <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, lots of quests in this game. I have no idea how many, but I know there's a lot of them. And like I said, you know, you can see all these things that you can now talk to her about. Um, she was wrong by someone in this village. That is an injustice I can understand. Like I said, truly with this game, yeah, it's the side quests that make up the game, not the game itself. If you went through this and just followed the main quest, you don't know. You could probably finish this game in 20, 30 hours. Easy. It throws its menacing shadow over all of Gorham. And if you really want to sit here and get into the lore and get into the game and all the different things that happen throughout the lands and the squabbles and the quarrels and the, you know, that type of stuff. That's all in the side quests. I have undergone the ordination rites and am as legitimate as any monk. There's not a whole lot of drama, if you want to he call it that. That happens in the main quest at all. Mitharu embraces it's all, pretty straightforward. Not those that the church deems worthy. If such creatures were not part of the authority's plan, then they would not exist in nature, period. Mitharu's divine. You got an evil form. king that's evil. trying to take over the lands. He's been removed from fate like much in the same way you have and uh you know you now need to stop him father dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the order of mythar despite that's kind of the main story in this game it's pretty pretty basic pretty simple pretty easy to understand now there are a few things that stand in your way, don't get me wrong. One of those being that he's on the other side of the the world map. But you'll slowly get there. Don't commit any crimes on my account. Of course, if Mitharu compels you to see justice done, then I won't stand in your way. Excuse me. The brothers of St. Hardwick's perpetual mission keep the And then we start off on another quest. But no one outside the order. And that quest is to um, help this lady with something. Doesn't really matter. You just you, you follow the the circles on the map. <laughs> it's really how easy this game is. I don't even have to listen to it. Um, and truly, with most games, you don't have to listen to them. Um, you can just play the game. And just by playing the games. Let me go to my map. Because I think I'm looking at something. Wow. No, that's where I'm supposed to go. Alright. That's an oddy. They want me to go in here. Okay. So, I'm going to call that it. That's my rant for the day.
and I hope you enjoy the rest of yours.